we are here at Fiesta Island, just chilling right now, drinking some kombucha. First and foremost, um, this has been a game changer for us. We have a new fridge for the Overland rig build. And yeah, it's made by Set Power USA. I love the top of this. Really nice top, good latches. So over here, you can see that there's different levels. So yeah, that's the refrigerator, the new one. We're excited about it. Comes with this plug and you can plug directly into your uh, DC cigarette lighter um, outlet. And if you don't have one or if you have a power station like I do, then there's an adapter that it comes with and then it turns into a uh, AC plug. So that's real nice. We got our EcoFlow. So yeah, that's really cool. We're excited. Can't wait to take it out on adventures and showcase how much of a difference this makes for us. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and show you guys what has all changed recently on the car. So as you guys know, we have our bumpers made from Nate's Fab. And just recently for Subi Fest, we had it repowder coated from Bradford powder coating down in Chula Vista, California. Everything turned out extremely extremely nice super durable really nice and rugged even we even got our shackles um powder coated and it looks straight like straight paint it's so nice so yeah we got all black hardware on the sides we got upgraded to black hardware for the mounts these ones i spray painted black actually those look tremendously better than the silver ones we had before we got our roof rack all done and straight straightforward. And we have all our OZ USA LED lights up top. We got the rooted progress laser engraved on our fairing. It looks freaking awesome. Don't know if you guys can see it. And yeah, that's, oh, oh yeah. I forgot to mention, we also painted our grill black and it looks freaking awesome the OZ LED lights so we have all that done all the way around this is gonna be our reverse light and then also uh, doubles as a chase light so we have a dual function on this light bar it's gonna be white for reverse when we turn it on and off again then it will double as our chase light which is gonna be an amber on the sides right here we got the same light bar but it's a single single function LED light. So it's just gonna be in white. And we have that on the other side. This light bar is their uh, nice and powerful single row. We got flood on the outer, outer end and then in, towards the middle, we have spot beam so that we can see further down the road. So that's freaking nice. And then we still got our regular um, Flood and spot combo light right here. Same right here. We got the mini one in the front. This is also uh, dual amber and uh, white as well, like the rear. All right, guys. So now that you guys have seen our new light setup, now that we have the Spider Dojo roof rack, um, you guys are probably wondering how the heck do I have all these uh, wired up? So let me show you guys. We got this Amazon um, eight gang switch panel and uh, we wired it all up and so yeah this is what it looks like on the dash so we mounted it right here on the dash we just did a uh, double-sided tape um, it's a uh, 3m mounting tape it's really good stuff as you can see it's holding it up nice and easy and we have some blank ones because we have not wired anything up to these roof mounted light bar is right here there's a blank one here and then we got the grill which is the front light bar the mini one and then we have the sides and then we have the rear one and then this is our transmission cooling fan I'm not sure if you guys are aware but um, earlier this year we did install a transmission cooler for the car but it came with fans and we never got the fans wired up so finally we have uh, our fans wired up we got a temperature monitoring from super subi works right here and then going down here, this is our master switch to turn this on so that it's not on all the time. So when we turn this on, then as you can see, that turns on and then we can 
operate everything um, off this switch. So that's going to turn off right there. We also have our in-house, our in-car Midland um, GMRS radio, which I sticky mounted onto the side right here. Super easy to use. Let's go ahead and take that off. It's nice too, because it doubles as a USB charger port and then also has a dust, dust cover right here. So that's really nice. So these are some of the parts that I've been wanting to have installed on the car um, before we went on our trip for my birthday earlier this year, but a lot of the parts were custom made, especially the roof rack. And I wouldn't have been able to wire up the lights um, without the roof rack because then I'd have to remove my rooftop tent, redo it all over again. It's kind of difficult right now to, to do that. So I kind of wanted to wait until the roof rack was done before doing all these lights, installing the switch panel, and then cutting into my um, my little plastic trim bay underneath here where I showed you where my uh, Midland GMRS radio is with the switch. Um, kind of just wanted to wait on all that um, because I did have to run the wires through the roof right here. That did require taking off the headliner. So thankful that we have spider no drill roof rack um, make us a custom rack for our rig. I don't know if he's going to make it available to everybody who has an Outback of my generation. Um, but if you guys are interested in the roof rack um, with enough interest, he'll be able to produce it for us. So you guys comment below if you guys are interested. Um, hit me up on Instagram. It's the Rooted Progress. Um, and we'll start making a list and hopefully for those who need it, those who want it, um, hopefully we can get these racks out to you guys. So yeah, just let us know. Um, lastly, I do got to show you guys, we did get our custom flat out suspension installed on the rig as well before we had sub before we went to Subi Fest. So this is a look. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is dirty right now because of all the sand from Fiesta Island. But yeah, we do have a custom coilover suspension. We had to do um, two inch subframe spacers from Subi Lift Oz. That's just part of the front. Here is the rear. They look freaking nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, I repainted the inside of the fender well. Yep. And let me take you guys underneath right here. Uh, can you guys see? But yeah. Freaking awesome. Love the coilover so far. Um, still got to do some fine tuning to it, guys. But we have a four inch lifted Outback. Longer suspension travel. Better wheel articulation because we don't have front sway bars. Don't have uh, rear sway bars. And the car handles just amazing on road still. Also guys, I also need to kind of, this is kind of like an announcement. I haven't really told many people about it, but I also wanted to show you guys today that we got this um, rear diff cover plate from Subi Works. It's really nice because it has the top breather port and then the additional cooling fins. So definitely a must guys, if you guys are planning to off-road your Subaru, um, cooling's always a benefit, beneficial factor for your rigs when you're out there exploring. It's just a nice upgrade, so I definitely recommend it. We're going to be running it on our car. Um, it's going to be great. So we're super excited about that and can't wait to wrap up this vehicle. All right, guys. So now that we have the fridge for the vehicle, um, basically all we have to do now is kind of do like an organizational system for the rear setup and also like a slide out kitchen. Um, we're kind of tired of bringing like a portable table where everything in the back of the vehicle is kind of just like bouncing around, sliding around and things like that. So we kind of just want it all to be solid and just like in our, in our rig. That way it's not bouncing around and can't wait to go out and continue adventuring, exploring America and hang out with you guys so yeah feel free to follow us on our instagram the rooted progress and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button
for now, guys. Peace out and keep on trekking.